Well, we have a garden and our math is in the garden. So we not just do math in here, but we do it outside. My favorite thing about this class is, first, we learn a lot, and second, we have animals. We're moving away from the skill and drill for math. We're moving into, okay, you, you know this, the skill, but now can you use it? Can you apply that knowledge? Think about the math that's involved. How would you solve this problem, whatever the problem would be? Because I know that farmers are problem solvers. And because of my background, it just, it, it just is natural to me. I think, to me, the farming, the natural world is something that's easy to do. The cross-curricular activities uh, with the kids that we're trying to do where they, they get this broad base of knowledge, but then that next step, the garden and farm provides, of, okay, how are we gonna apply it? If this animal needs X amount of feed per day, how long will a sack of feed last? You know, it's that logical um, next step. And then once we make that farm to classroom to table connection, where the kids um, raise their uh, laying hens, then they gather the eggs, they weigh their eggs, they put them in the refrigerator, then they get them out and they cook with them. So they have to do all the measurement that is math. And then if they don't measure it right, it doesn't taste good. So it's, it's that real world connection that the farm gives us every day. We want them to think about what is the problem and what is it really asking you. So, you know, when it comes the end of the year and, you know, there's normally this mad dash to, you know, do a quick review and all that, we don't do that. And even though, you know, because we're busy planning a garden. I mean, it's time to garden at the end of the year test. I thought I had seen it all in going into my 24th year until I met Todd Willis and then I realized quickly that I had not seen it all. Just all that he incorporates in his math and science and social studies classes um, is just amazing. It's had a great impact. Our test scores are some of the highest in the state in math and as far as ELA we've had a hundred percent pass rate both years on the gateway. The kids love to come to school. They don't want to be absent. They don't want to miss school because they don't want to miss whatever it is we're doing in class that day. So it helps with attendance and, and greater attendance means more money for our schools and uh, high test scores. That's always great because we want people to move to Mississippi. We want people to live here, send their kids to school here. And uh, it's just a great impact on the kids for a lot of different reasons. We have a garden outside and we do a lot of math there and um, our math teacher does a lot. Outside in the garden we have animals and plants that we have to responsibly take care of in 20 minutes. During that 20 minutes we water pretty much everything and we have these little sprinkler bottles and you just take a coat bottle and just press a pin needle in it. And that's how we water things. We love this garden and it's big. We're the only uh, school in the Subtle County that has a garden, and, and we are very thankful for it. It was fun going to the White House. It was exciting. Um, I got to fist bump the president. Michelle Obama asked me where I was from, how old I was, what my name was, and the president asked me the same thing. Me and Michelle Obama, we just had a bunch of conversations together. We were part of the Chef's Move to Schools, uh, one of Michelle Obama's initiatives, and which I think is a wonderful thing. Um, and, and I laughed because I tell people, you know, I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care if you're a porcupine, right? Going to the White House is cool. Those who are prepared generally do the best, right? And our kids were prepared. They had a, a broad understanding of agriculture. They had worked in a garden. And so that provided them an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, it's valuable that they learn how to garden and it's some real world experience, but also is it on task? Is it, are we meeting our pacing guide still? 
And so a teacher can start to say, okay, I've got four worksheets on this and right, and they're gonna have an extra 20 minutes. Am I gonna go get a fifth worksheet? Or can I now take my garden and turn that into a real world experience? And I think that is what I would love to help with.